Good morning, y'all. Good morning. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. Sorry, guys. My hand's in the way. Um, so I just want to make it quick. So today I go on my date um, with the guy I met on um, Match.com. And he's coming to pick me up. I do have my mace just in case if he's a weirdo or he if he's a freak. Which I doubt he'll try anything crazy because it's like 10 o'clock in the morning. And he's supposed to be picking me up by 10.30. So, I doubt if he's going to do so, anything crazy. But, yeah. But I'm going to take you guys with me. Um, am I nervous? No. He should be nervous. Not me. <laughs> but how do I look, y'all? You know, first impression means everything. So, yes. Your girl is going to get ready. He's supposed to be taking me to go get my Manny and Petty today. Which is overdue as you guys can see my nails ain't done but my toes is done but it needs a redo it's okay it could come off <laughs> so yes i'm excited and i want you guys to come along with me to watch sci-fi? X-Files. <laughs> X-Files, that's what it is, X-Files. Yeah. My channel is, smile, you have such a beautiful smile. <laughs> so guys, I just came from my date and he's such a gentleman. He brought me flowers and they smell so flipping good. Oh my gosh. But guys, he's talking about getting married and i'm like having kids because he drove by like big houses like mansions looking like and he's like well if you marry me then we could live in houses like these and i'm like dude i'm not even divorced yet i'm in the process of getting divorced but i didn't tell him that because that's none of his business i don't want to make things awkward so I guess the less things they know, the less, you know, I'm not going to say trouble, but yes. And these flowers, oh my gosh, they got my house smelling good. Oh my God. I just came from the most fanciest restaurant ever. I feel like a fucking, <laughs> I feel so good, guys. I haven't felt like this in a long time. Still look at her groove back. Yes. I feel so good, guys. He got my nails done. I got a manicure and a pedi. Oh my God. God, why have I not met this man sooner? <laughs> we gonna talk later, cause I'm just fathom right now. I'm just like in oohs and ahs right now. Like, girl. So y'all, I went to the car and went to go get my tripod. As you can see, it's a difference because I'm not moving around. But it's angled differently. It's like cricket sideways, isn't it guys? I don't know. If it's not one thing, it's another. It's always another. I'll be back. It's a little crooked, but it's not as bad. It's not as bad, right? Oh my gosh, I can smell those flipping flowers from all the way from over here. I have to add more water in it because he said that as he was coming here, the water dripped out of it. I guess it spilled while he was driving. But yo, like, oh my God. This guy is a multi-millionaire. Y'all hear me? A multi-millionaire. Oh my God. 
multi-millionaire. Match.com is it. So if you want to know what dating site you should get on, match.com. If you ain't got one, get you one. Because baby, baby, that's what kind of men on there. I'm not knocking off the other ones. I'm not knocking off Tinder. I'm not knocking off Plenty of Fish. I'm not knocking off okay Cupid. I'm not knocking off none of them. But what I'm saying is, from my experience, and you guys came with me on that date, as you can see, it was not fake. It was real. Yes. Match.com is it. So get you it. And Match.com, sponsor me, honey. Sponsor me because I'll go on dates with any guy that approached me. Sponsor me. You know you want to because I'll put it on here. I'll let people know to purchase your memberships. <laughs> I'm just so, I feel so good, guys. If you guys been watching my videos, you, you guys been seeing, been, if you guys been following me and following my story and my channel, you guys seen that I've been through a lot. I've been going through a lot mentally, um, physically. I'm drained. I'm drained, guys. And I don't know, like, I've been burning bay leaves, guys. I've been burning bay leaves. If you don't know about bay leaves, I can do a video about bay leaves. But let me just give you like a brief story about bay leaves. You write what you want to come true, what you want to manifest on those leaves. So here's an example. You get a bay leaf. On each bay leaf, you write what you want to come true, what you want to manifest. Guys, I believe in God. I know that there is a God. I consider myself Baptist. I'm not as spiritual as I used to be, but I do believe in God. I pray to him every night. I talk to him every day. I um, pray to him every morning. But I noticed that, and I'm not saying this is not God doing it. I'm just saying what I've noticed ever since I burned the bay leaves. That should be for another video. Bump that. But what I'm talking about today is my mother loving date. And the funny part is this morning when he came to pick me up, he greeted me because he texted me. He said, I'm here. He was late. He was 20 minutes late and he was late for a good cause. He said that he was outside, that um, he's coming inside. Well, he's coming to my door. And I knew why he was coming to my door because he had flowers. So I met him because I didn't want him to come to my crappy door. My house is crappy. So I met him halfway. I grabbed the flowers, greeted him, gave him a kiss on the cheek because he deserved it. He brought me these beautiful flowers and I said, I'll be right back. I'm going to go put the flowers inside and I'll be right back. He was like, okay, no problem. So then I came back. He was shaking, but I think that's a thing that's going on with him. I don't know if he has Parkinson's diseases or what. He's 49 years old, guys, by the way. But I don't care about the age. Anyway, because this is what I wanted. I wanted someone older, mature, to treat me like a woman that I am. I deserve it. I've been through a lot. So, um, yeah. So then I finally got in his car. And he was quiet. So just to make it a little, you know, comfortable for him. Because I guess I, most likely I'm probably the... Uh, darkest skin complexion that he's ever been with but I didn't bring that to him yet but that comes later in the relationship I don't care to ask him but I don't care to ask him but anyway so we drive like 15 minutes away from my home and he's like asking me do I know of any place where I would want to get my mani and pedi done at and I did and we stopped there and it took like an hour and 30 minutes for me to get done with my mani and pedi. Then he asked me if I want to get my lashes done because that's the services that they provided at that nail salon. And I was like, no, because at the time my stomach was rambling. Like when I tell you my stomach was talking to me, I felt uncomfortable because I felt like at one point he can hear it too. So I was like, no, I don't want to get my lashes done. It's going to take longer than usual. So, and then we were pressed for time because he was late and then it was already like, 11 30 and they were still doing my petty 
because you know he has to go pick up his daughter from the um bus stop at around three and then you know i have to worry about my kids too so i felt like we were pressed for time and we weren't but anyway so finally i ended we ended um i stopped well everything ended at um 12 30 at the nail salon and then we headed out to a marina, a boat marina, to have brunch. A boat marina, guys. And these are like millionaires, multi-millionaires that were hanging around. They got a lot of money. <laughs> Let me tell you, a lot of money, okay? I don't think you heard me. A lot of money. But you guys seen it in the clip. I ain't lying. I ain't playing and there was a whole bunch of houses big ass houses and you can tell them things were worth millions you know what the man said to me i said wow as we were leaving the restaurant and we get in his car and he's driving but he drives a regular car guys but that don't matter because the multi-millionaires there's a lot of them that's not flashy they're good with simple cars he drives a sorrento kia that's still a nice car so um but usually they're not flashy like that they're not at all at all they don't care for luxury cars because they got it already so what do they need a luxury car to prove themselves but anyway so as we were driving away from the restaurant i was like wow these houses are beautiful i love this area because it just feels like you're out of town it's just like the vibe here is different he was like just marry me and we'll get one of these houses i'm like marry you and we can live like this why do i have to marry you in order to live like this i don't want to marry and live like this i don't but i feel like guys at that age they feel like they want to get married and belong to someone especially at that age and i'm just like scared because i'm jumping from one marriage to another should i be scared or should I just go for it? Because, guys, I just want to date. I don't want to get in a serious relationship again because the one that I was with is just like... But he was a fucking loser, you know? He was fake as fuck. He fucking used me. And he was young. And he's young. He's fucking 30. And this guy's 49. He's already established. He got his shit together. Ugh, God. Guess what, guys? He's a marijuana smoker. <laughs> That's funny, right? As soon as I jumped into his car, I was like, all you feel like the marijuana smoke smell just popped me in my face. Like, girl, I know you smell me up in here. And then when he turned on the AC, I felt like I'm, I got a, I'm second hand. I'm second hand smoking in his car every time he turns on the AC, which is no problem. So I did mention to him to um, at dinner. I met at lunch when we were having lunch, saying that you know, I've noticed that you smell. I mean, I noticed that you smoke because it's obvious in your car. And then he pulls out his marijuana card, like, yo, like we're best friends. He has a whole bunch of them in his fucking car. He was like, did you want to smoke with me? And I'm like, no, I don't want to get too stupid because, you know, I got to go take my kids. I got to go pick up my kids. And some of them gives, like, some of them, like, have, like, different side effects towards me. Some of them sometimes make me so sleepy or tired, and some of them just make me stupid. Like, I just be like, huh? <laughs> so my kids were fucking, like, destroy the house, and I'll just be like, huh? Nah, I don't want that. I want to have control. So I was like, no, it's okay. Maybe next time. He's like, yeah, when the kids, when the kids' fathers come and pick them up, then we can chill. I was like, yeah, we can. <laughs> but you know, guys, it takes me a while to get comfortable with people. So he's gonna take me out on a second date, but I don't know when. But yeah, first date was good. First impression was awesome. He was great. You can tell. You can tell he was on his P's and Q's. Like he was being a good guy. He didn't want to say anything wrong or anything to make me feel uncomfortable. He was just a perfect gentleman. And 
what can I say? <laughs> oh my god. I swear to God, guys. I swear. Oh my god. <laughs> this is crazy. This is crazy, guys. But yeah, thanks for staying tuned, y'all. Thanks for supporting my channel. Thanks for just watching my crazy self and <clears throat> my journeys and stuff like that just thank you thank you thank you don't forget to hit hit that bell so you can get notifications when your girl posts a new video and don't forget to subscribe comment and you better like it or else i'm coming for y'all <laughs> I'm just so happy today. I just feel like today I'm just going to have like a huge smile on my face and my kids are going to be like, who are you? Are you mommy? Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to feel that way. I'm so happy. But guys, I will talk to y'all. I'm going to go make another video, guys, about the Bailey's so you guys could get on point and get on top of everything that I'm doing. All right. Bye.